I do my afternoon coffee delivery. So what's in there? Whoa, 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 hold on. Dude, you can't open that. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Huh? What's Dark, up? Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> What was the secret? Um. Hey Nora. Yeah? Can you watch my YouTube channel while I'm gone? Are you sure about that? Yeah, but I need a million subscribers when I get back. Challenge accepted! So how do you become a leading service design agency in the States? Is it any different to work at a US agency compared to Europe? Or what's their secret? How did Harmonic Design do this? I guess we're going to find out. You better start moving and feel the music. Get your groove on and let it use you when you feel the fire. Hey Mark. James. Come on in. You know why I'm here, right? <laughs> I think so. I want to know the secret of harmonic design. Can you help me out? I can try. I want to see everything. Where do we start? How about right here? All right. Let me show you the wall. So this is our wall of harmonicas. Who makes these awesome We do. Drawings. Uh, All right. Everybody, when you become a full-time employee of harmonic, you sketch your, uh, within the first week, theoretically, Yes. you uh, sketch your own uh, character. And that goes, that gets associated with you on your, on the website. Uh, it's on our internal systems and uh, on your business card. What are uh, harmonicas? We are harmonicas. The team early on voted themselves. Was it a democratic process? It was. Mm. Patrick and I didn't choose that at all. Um, Which one is your favorite? <sighs> I, I don't know. They all have different... Um, flair to them so i like please no know. politics so which one is your favorite? okay let me ask you which one is your least favorite that's an easier no, question no i'm to not answer. gonna say uh, i like them all i don't dislike any of them maybe mine i don't i don't particularly love mine but it's because i'm the only one who actually didn't draw his own ah oh, look oh so. okay you cheated i did Usually the place yeah. where the magic happens. Welcome to Harmonic Central. And it's literally because it is kind of the center of a lot of our life when mm. we're in studio. Where, where is everybody? Uh, everybody's working from home or, uh -huh. or distributed today. So I picked a company. good day to actually sneak around and open all the cabins. You did. Oh, nice. Got a big table intentionally for meals. Uh, and often, like especially around holidays when we have a lot of people in the studio, we'll extend that table and we'll have big, big meals and potluck and or we'll have catered uh, events and stuff like that. This is our first big holiday party after we became a company. Nice. And it was a Polynesian theme at uh, Trader Vic's. Part of the, the tradition of what we do and create how we create and maintain our culture is we have these artifacts of our events because those are often the favorite times that we have in team building is that when we come together and just have fun. We enjoy the work, but we enjoy having time together too. Hidden almost in plain sight. <laughs> I see one bottle standing quite lonely over there. What's the story of that? About well, somebody that? has taken it upon themselves to put all of the other booze away. Ah. I'm smelling something really good over yeah. here. This is our liquid caffeination station. Liquid caff... Uh, sorry, ex repeat that. <laughs> Liquid caffeination station. Like that. As COO, that's my primary role, is keeping folks caffeinated. That sounds good. I do my afternoon coffee delivery. So what's in there? Whoa, 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 hold on. Dude, you can't open that. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Huh? What's Turn it off. Turn it off. Okay, so we were approaching, I think, what could be the secret of Harmonic, and then this happened. I don't know if we'll be able to keep the footage, but... Apparently, there's something going on with the fridge. Let's hope the camera will be all good. Uh, and and yeah. mugs. Yeah, for okay. you. Thank you. To take Man, with you on your travels. I'm, I'm sure that this will be uh, helpful in the service design show studio. Thank you. I hope so. Yes. Hopefully, it will keep you <laughs> awake during your late night editing sessions. And then, of course, the mega board. The mega board. Yeah, we like to say it's the yeah, largest, yeah, yeah. the largest seamless dry erase board east of the Mississippi. I, the, you wouldn't expect <laughs> it to be so empty. Oh, Did you erase a secret? Good. It uh, it may have it may have been on here, but it's not right now. We're getting prepped for for people to be here and. 
by the end of the week, this will be full. How important is this to Harmonic? Early on, very, very important because mm. we're much, very much a face-to-face -face organization. Um, now, we've moved online mm. Um, mm. and we, did, we collaborate more digitally. But I'll tell you, when people are in the office and working with them, uh, working with each other face-to-face, -face, uh, we're constantly on the whiteboard. People like to draw. People like to illustrate their, their thoughts and ideas. These are our team rooms. Can we go inside? Absolutely. Right. So, but what's this up, is... What's up with the name? <laughs> yeah. Now retired, the rooms are named after our, um, our brand colors. Named by the team, of course. Part of the, the culture that we've created is that it's really about, like, everybody can contribute to hmm. what harmonic mm -hmm. is and what it means to be a harmonica. This, <laughs> this is probably, yeah. you know, several different conversations. You look at the color, they're color-coded. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> You know, if you're in the studio and you need head down, heads down time or to be on conference calls, you can, you can uh, just kind of huddle in here. Please okay. tell me more about this special character uh, over here. It's our avocado. Mm. This is a formal portrait of, oh, wow. of, the, of the atomic avocado. The atomic avocado. Yeah. So this is already getting closer to the secret. It's pretty close. Mm. Hmm. Avocado definitely has something to do with it. What do we have over here? Uh, this is our big room, also called Dangerine. What happens Large in collaboration space. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, this is where, when we have a team that is mostly based in Atlanta, they mm -hmm. will often meet here, um, even though we can uh, we can work from wherever. Um, people like to work together still. So we've got really great views of of Atlanta on three sides of our mm. of our space here, and that's one of the reasons we got this space is just because we have windows on three sides and. Designers are finicky. They like their natural light. Uh, this is Edgewood Avenue. Uh, it runs into Old Fourth Ward and is a historic uh, part of Atlanta. Hmm. And of course, it's usually a little busier than this when Georgia State's in session, but they're on break. And we have <laughs> like little animals. You'll notice little animals and stuff around the office that people have contributed. I see a sheep over there. Yeah, we're no sheep, but uh, we have an affinity for animals. So that's one of the other questions when people join. Uh, it's, it's actually part of the interview process. Mm, mm. Cats or dogs? Ah, Coffee, or, sh tea. or sheep. Yeah, or sheep. So what's the next space? Where do we need to go? This is a dirty swimming pool. There's a target. Oh, we're trying to <laughs> Who are you trying to hit? <laughs> I don't know what that is, actually. Who, who, who's there? I, I like the fact that this has even expanded beyond the walls. Yeah. We n you That's, never have enough writing space. You never have enough writing so. space. I would agree. Lots of creativity going on in here, you can tell. <laughs> so service experience, service management, service operations, and ser service strategy. Yeah. And we're, middle, service maturity. Yeah. We're, we're doing a little business strategy mm. conversation in here. I love it. Uh, and other people do too. And I think one of the things that is kind of thematic is that the times that we have together are, uh, are those moments that we remember. This is just a making space. All, What's the thing you miss space. most when you just meet virtually? Um, it's the after meeting chat, oh. you know, just like walking back to your, where you're sitting or, um, or going to seeing who's around for lunch and just going to do a random lunch mm. and, mm. and hanging out with people mm. you don't usually get as a, chat with or, or you're not you haven't been on a project with in a long time or, mm. how uh, often do you get together with the entire team at least three or four times a year okay. uh, at least that's the intention uh, it hasn't happened over the past few years as you can imagine why um, but uh, you know this is actually from before the lockdowns and really yeah this was uh, the team was at the Atlanta Zoo uh, doing a service safari and experimenting uh, literally a safari yeah, it was uh, and experimenting with uh, using non-human actors as uh, uh, in blueprint in blueprinting. What's in the cabins? What what paper? <laughs> legal legal paper. Uh, hey, look, we got all the stuff you oh, need no, to run a workshop. Colors. What else? I'm going to snoop around. Maybe That's fine. I'm you're not going to find. What, for the you're secret. not going to find what you're looking for. I'm still looking for the secret. Uh, we right. got our private cubbies here. Okay. Somebody left their box. What's shorts. the most precious thing for you in, inside these cabins? <laughs> well, I, I, I love the, the merit badges. Um, what are these? These are merit badges. So when you do 
something for the first time at Harmonic, you get one of these for your laptop. Oh, okay. So that's so just what's, when you what's do. What's the duck for? Uh, that's the heck yeah rubber ducky. Heck yeah rubber ducky. So when you do something cool. Uh, this is, you know, coffee is for closers. Mm. Coffee is for closers only. Uh, Purple Heart is for, you know, after the the U.S. military Purple Heart. Um, are you still waiting? Do you collected all of them or are you still waiting for one? <laughs> How is your collection? <laughs> My collection is pretty weak. Ah, oh, that's not good. <laughs> they don't let me out of the cage often. Ah. <laughs> and all the things you need mm. to run a workshop, including time timers. My favorite. I wouldn't know how to be productive without one. Yeah, those are pretty cool. So how close are we getting to the secret, James? Because that's why we're here. It's cumulative. Oh, I, think mm. it's, I think it's... So what, what's, what's the next that. thing that adds to the secret? Well, you've got atomic yolk. Atomic, so we yes. like this like 1950s kind of flair on our color, palette, mm. as you can tell. But also, you know, a great room for hanging out. Good view of, of Grady Hospital and uh, downtown area here in Atlanta. This is probably the room with the most light because you have three windows in it uh, and do, they're facing different directions. Do you have your own space here or does everybody mingle? Yeah. Everybody jokes about this phone booth being uh -huh. my, my office. Oh. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull Ace Ventura. Oh! You can do all nighters in that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I speak. Yeah, lots of lots of conversations have been had in that booth. Uh, what's one of the conversations you still remember having in that booth? A <laughs> fond memory. To I remember. Think, I think the first time we spoke, I was Good. in the booth. Well, there you go, and now we're here. Yeah, because back then there were probably more people bouncing around, and it was probably noisier here. Mm. All the rooms were filled because we used to assign each room to a, an engagement. So, uh, but this is uh, a conversation. Space. Are we going to sit on with Nicholas Cage? Okay. Another uh, harmonica contribution to the space. Ooh. Yeah. So what happens here? Just chat, listen to music, read. Okay. Um, you know, because we're adjacent to the library, also called Inner Depths. Inner Depths. What's uh, the music that's usually on? It really depends who's in the studio first. Okay. I like just kind of chill, like down either down tempo house. Patrick likes indie. Indie? Yeah, he likes indie rock. In the name of Patrick Quattlebaum, we'll sing this happy Monday song. You mentioned it's something about the library. Is yeah. that still yeah. something we Active. need to explore? Absolutely. I think the deep space? How did it, what, what? Inner, inner depths. Inner depths. So, yeah. okay. And if, Sounds uh, intriguing. If you're looking for the, the secret to harmonic. We are. That's might, why we're here. You might find it in a book or two. Okay. The team are avid readers. And writers. Well, we're one big harmonic family. This is actually a working library. So what's happening here? This is a collection of people's favorite design and related books. Um, mm. And we usually have about 50 copies of Patrick's uh, book here that he wrote with Chris Risden. I see um, some classics. Yeah. I think this one was one of the first books that I actually read. Subject to change. So. Yes, Stephen. Uh, so Patrick and Stephen seeded the the library mm. with their own from their own collections, mm. uh, and I, some of them have did, like some of these books are I think checked out. Um, these books, these shelves are usually pretty full, um, but anybody can contribute. And often, when we buy books for the company, we'll we'll get an extra copy for the library. But lots of reading and writing going on here, as you can tell from our active blog and social media, speaking uh, on the various conferences you know everybody's welcome to contribute to the the decor in the office you can see our pie print that was designed by steven taylor it is pi to ah uh, i can't remember how many a lot of numbers how many digits yeah oh well, design even more classics over here i've I'm seen sick. that book yeah, once we've twice seen, before we've, we've, this is a pretty popular one yeah um and and funny enough like the uh this is service design thinking sort of at the at the the seed of, the origin of, yeah, yes of harmonic story mm. uh, back like 15 years ago when patrick and i were working together at a large mm -hmm. um engagement and uh 
trying to figure out like lots of conversation we were up in charlotte and lots of conversation about how to apply ux principles to how people operate businesses mm -hmm. and um and bring that human centeredness in and then, like lo and behold you know mm. this practice is emerging from europe into the united states called service design is well, there something else to the secret uh, we could go back to the lobby and look so we are we're going full cycle yeah absolutely um, and of course, you know, part of the theme is, you know, that I think probably picked up on is that the company is still clay hmm. and we're, we're always evolving and trying and changing. And a lot of what happens here is, uh, is determined by the people who work here and not just, not just Patrick and myself. Um, we've sort of, I mean, you know, try to guide folks in the right direction, but a lot of it is, is independent. A lot of what goes on here is independent of us. And you know, I think really gives the, uh, makes it a great place to work because people are self-creating and testing and trying, experimenting. What's the uh, thing that you're most proud of that the team contributed to the sort of the way harmonic has turned out to be an openness and willingness to share mm -hmm. and learn from each other. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're not a big hierarchical company. Um, we're, we're relatively, not, not to say we don't have titles and, and hierarchy, but we're relatively flat and, you know, we all play on the same field. Um, so anybody can, can contribute in any way that, you know, they can make of it what they want. It's their job mm. to, to do it and participate however they want. If it's internal operations and they want to help out with that stuff, and we have internal projects that help push the project, the the, the practice forward. Um, you know, memorabilia and, and artifacts in the office. You know, Stephen uh, is is often contributing these cultural artifacts, which you know he made as a. I recognize this, but <laughs> yeah. uh, tell us more. What is this? Yeah, this is the uh, the iconic IDEO. Um, it was a medical device. I it believe. was, I think. Um, yeah. One of our engineers, who wasn't quite satisfied with the, the discussion at hand, leaves the brainstorming session for five minutes, makes the ugliest prototype in the history of IDEO. It's like a whiteboard marker with some scotch tape around it and a little clothespin thing. And he brings it back in and hands it to the person he was sitting next to in the br brainstorming session. And he says, Hey, are you thinking of something like this? And nobody laughed. This uh, medical advisor picked up the. the device and said yeah something a little bit like this and uh, Stephen found that to be inspiring and was uh, inspired enough to recreate it as, as closely as he could you know as a as a memento and a and a reminder of, of uh, it's it's important to play and, mm. and have fun but mm. you can you can do serious work at the same time so have we gone full circle is this is this the end of our journey or is there anything left um, I could really go for another cup of coffee. Okay, it's time to do the thing that every service design professional just loves to do. Let's synthesize all the things that I've learned through my research in Atlanta and figure out if we have found the answer to the question that we started with. What is the secret to becoming a leading service design agency? Well, there are definitely a lot of clues the positive spirit of the team, the creative and playful culture, the space that invites collaboration, the long-term vision of the leadership team, and of course, we can't forget the office dog. There are really some other questions that I still need to ask them. Remember that moment with the fridge? That was weird, right? Well, I guess I'll just have to come back next year.